tense our body right now, but what am I going towards? Relaxation. When you were a baby, very little, you, you would spin. And you're kind of always trying to get your body regulated and relaxed. So you're like doing these things with your neck, um, doing things with, I think, your jaw. You were doing things with your mouth. I think you did some biting of your lip. Your mom said that you got to the point where she um, was concerned about the formation of your lip because you did it so much. Also, very common for people with ASD to do those kinds of things, and then they develop um, sores when they're younger. Um, adults sometimes still do it, but um, but that's a part of just your ability and want to regulate your toe um, raising up. You know, so tightening um, your toe and doing these unusual ways of balancing your body. And again. You dance so much um, in your day, that's probably also helps you to regulate. So you tell your parents were able to channel you and get you those Thursday dance classes. That was one thing with communication that I didn't mention that I want to recall is that you said, is it Thursday yet? Is it Thursday yet? And that was a repetitive phrase you used. Well, some kids will ask that, you know, are we there yet? If they're in the car and they're driving on a long journey, they'll ask about that. But you were really um, asking it with the understanding that it wasn't Thursday yet. You knew it wasn't Thursday yet, but it was part of that repetitive piece to you which goes along with the language what i was really saying is like i need it to be thursday and i need dance every day but i didn't even know how to express that at that yeah. point in time so i was just asking the same thing over and over and over again my like intense focus was rewarded yeah in dance class so i felt like and i always still say like even when i'm in a choreographic process or in the studio i don't sense or i'm i'm, I'm less aware of my, my autism. Mm -hmm.